Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how you can view the barometer on your Nixon Regulus Expedition watch. So this watch is a ABC watch. It has an altimeter, barometer, and compass feature on it. And it's really pretty simple to use. I'm going to go into it fairly quickly here. You can see right now that I'm on the main time mode. You can see my time and you can see my date. If you want to get to your barometer, it's very similar to other watches. You're just going to toggle to that mode. The one thing that's different about the Nixon watch is you don't see it listed as barometer. It's actually under a mode they call camp. So to do that, we're gonna press our mode button. It's the bottom left button. When we press it, we can see our different modes. And then I'm just gonna use the bottom right button on the right hand side to arrow down until I get to camp. Again, I'm gonna press the mode button to select it. Now you'll see you get a message here. It says for the most accurate temperature reading, they recommend taking the watch off of your wrist. That's pretty common with any other altimeter, barometer, or compass watch. If you're doing a t uh, thermometer sensor, because it's on your wrist, your body heat can skew it a little bit, maybe by a degree or two. It's not a huge difference. If you really want accurate, you take it off your wrist. You'll see the other thing is it gives me my altitude reading. I can adjust this up or down if I know my exact altitude, or I can simply confirm whatever the watch is coming up with. And then it takes me into my camp mode and we can see my barometer information in the top left hand corner. We can also see my current temperature. Now mine's being displayed in Fahrenheit. You can switch that to Celsius if you'd like. Same thing with the barometer. My barometer is being displayed in inches of mercury. I can also switch that to hectopascals if I would like. I've got the current time down here on bottom. The only thing else you can really do on here is you can press the upper right hand button and you can turn on your chronograph. So maybe you're wanting to time different things. Maybe you're doing skiing. You're wanting to do some uh, timings or some split timings. You can have your chronograph on. You can use the bottom button to start, stop, and reset it. Or you can simply press the top button to keep the chronograph off. The other thing I'll mention is while it's in camp mode, you'll also get a weather trend indicator up here in the left. If there's any change in barometric pressure over time, it will usually indicate that severe weather can be coming. So if your pressure drops rapidly, could mean that there's a storm or windstorm coming. And if it goes up, it tends to mean that the weather is going to be getting better. You won't see anything unless there's a change in the trend. The other thing is if you're in the camp mode and there's any kind of bad weather that's coming based on the barometric uh, pressure change, you will get a weather alert as well. The nice thing about the Nixon uh, Regulus Expedition watch is you can stay in this mode as long as you want to. Uh, if you have P Power Saver on, if it senses that you haven't done anything for a while, it might turn off your screen for a while. But unlike other watches, it'll kick you back out and take you back to your time mode. This one will let you stay in the temperature mode as long as you wish. Anyway, you can leave it like this, or once you're done with it, you can simply press the mode button and go back to your time mode. And you've successfully exited the camp mode and uh, stopped viewing your barometer information.